Good morning. How are we doing? Doing good. How are you? All oh, right. What you got going this morning? Oh, cooking a little breakfast this morning. Got our got our uh, chicken fried steaks pounded out and seasoned. About to cook a little bit of biscuits and bacon to get us through the morning. All right. Well, I'm going to cover the uh, chuck wagon cook-off this year a little bit differently than I did last year. Okay. Spent most of my time with Randall Whipple and the C4B gotcha. outfit last year. And, well, I want to make stars out of everybody this year, <laughs> I hope. Well, there's the man to talk to. He's head cook. All right. I'm just a swamper. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? Good, how are you? I'm Dusty Rains. Brady Rasco. Oh, please nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dusty. So, well, I've already forgotten. I've looked at your sign. <laughs> we're, we're Firehouse Camp. Right, and yes, where y'all out of? Petersburg, Texas. Petersburg. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, we're not too far away. All right. And the little miniature the kids, truck wagon yes, sir, over that's here. that's all our kids. They'll be out here this afternoon. Okay, there. okay. Well, I have to be sure and yeah, uh, they'll, they'll be catch here. them in action as well. Are they are you actually going to cook something up? Uh, the, the, boy, the boy and the girl, we've got, there's about six grandkids, and they'll all be here. There's some okay. little bitty ones, and my, okay. the, the oldest is nine, and the nine and the eight-year-old, they'll do a little bit of cooking, but... All right. The other ones, they just play. They'll have that thing tore up from front to back <laughs> and stuff everywhere. Well, there was a uh, youth contest. Yes, sir. Yesterday. yesterday. Did they participate no, in that? No, I think you have to be 12 or it's a, I think you have to be 12 to enter the youth contest. Gotcha. Gotcha. No, they, they didn't do that. Okay. We're too busy getting everything ready for today for them to do the youth contest. Right, right. How many uh, different cook-offs did you well, we only participate do, in this We usually year? do about two a year. Okay. Um, we, we're cotton farmers, so a lot of the contests fall during planting and harvest, so it's hard to get to a bunch of them. Right. But uh, we do a little bit of catering, do some ranch, ranch cooking, catering, and stuff yes, like sir. that. But we just do a couple of contests. We just do it for fun on the side. We're, we're called Firehouse Camp because we're both Lubbock firefighters. Okay. And her husband is a Lubbock firefighter, so. Okay. Both their husbands, right? Yeah, I guess both their husbands. <laughs> 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 That's and both how many people you got on your crew? Four, Four all yes, together? Sir. All yes, right. Sir. Okay. Four people. Three and a half. She's a half. <laughs> Well, I believe uh, I did. Y'all were out here last year as well. Yes, sir. Aren't you? Okay, because I remember the we were. small little chuck wagon. Yeah, that's always the highlight, seems like, every year. Everybody likes the kids. Wagon. Okay, yeah. All the kids do, for sure. All right. Are you from here in Lubbock? No, I'm originally from Amarillo. Okay. Went to school in Lubbock. Gotcha. For too long, probably. Gotcha. <laughs> I understand. Been there and done that. Yes, yeah, sir. I got my fill of. Uh, cotton field dust for sure. Yes, sir. We well, understand that real well, too. We live in the middle of one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, here it looks like you're getting down pretty low. Takes a while to do this. Yes, sir, it does. At first, I thought you were using the pocket knife to do that peeling. Yeah. Here. Now I see it's something that's a little bit more automatic where you don't slice too much off. Yeah. As long as you keep your fun thumb out of the way. Yes, sir. Yeah, that knife. I, I get way too much tater with steel and use knife. Yes, sir. Now how long have you been peeling potatoes? This morning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say all your life. It, yeah, pretty much. Okay. I, uh, I started with Homer in 10, working with him in 10, helping him. We all met in, through the fire service. Just kind of started in with him. Yes, sir. Really enjoy it. Have a good time, good friends. Good fellowship. Hard work. A little hard work that never hurt nobody. Well, that's true. <laughs> that is true. I like to leave a little peeling on them. Give a little extra texture and flavor to them. Then you eat one like that every once in a while. The best thing to do is just whittle it off. There you go. <laughs> Well, that, the skin is really where all the uh, vitamins and minerals yes, are sir. at. That's what they tell me. Yeah. 
Now, do the judges uh, kind of mark you down if there's little remnants of skin in the mashed potatoes? I don't have a clue. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they never do give much feedback on it. No, uh, they don't. They sure don't. Uh, and like Homer said a while ago, it just depends on what they're looking for that particular day. Right. You know? Right. They may like a good mashed potato, or they may want a, a baked, you know, a sliced and baked type potato. Who knows? There's, there's lots of ways you can do a potato. Yeah, that's true. Well, good morning. Looks like you fellas got everything underway here. Trying to. I'm Dusty Rains. I don't good believe morning. I met you fellas last year. Yeah. Would you, get, you tell us we're here last year? I was here. Oh, okay. Didn't have a wagon, but I was here. Very good. You are playing music over there at Randy's wagon? Yeah. <laughs> are you the uh, wagon boss here this year? Uh, yeah, more or less. Somebody asked me a question, and I'm, I don't know. <laughs> oh. I like these photographs you've got here on your. Well, some great Aunt Susie and Aunt Bertha. Really? Yeah. Came down the trail. 72. With this wagon. 1872. 18, with this wagon. With this wagon, yeah. So this is part of family heritage oh, that yeah. oh, we're right. working with here. Yeah. Wow. For the first women that went up the trail with the wagon. Well, I'll say. And which trail would that have been on? Oh, any trail you want to pick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was quite unusual to have uh, women uh, on the trail back then. Yes, it was days. very unusual. That's why yes. none of that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, this is a unusual trail. Not in the middle of the teepee. Well, I'm covering this event a little bit differently than I did last year. I spent way too much time with the C4B folks, primarily because you know how Randy is. He's yeah. kind of a show person. I'm going to tell you the story I think last year about uh, the buzzards falling, coming out the well. Oh, yes. And you know, I figured that would get tons of play on uh, YouTube because uh, I made that into a separate video. Oh, you did? Yeah. And I figured that was one of the best stories that was told that night. And uh, I figured that, that thing would probably go viral. Uh, so creative. And well... Nobody picked on it. Uh, yeah, it hadn't really taken off. But uh, maybe do a little bit more of this this year draw a little bit more interest in yeah. some of the stuff that I covered last year as well. <laughs> but that was an excellent story. And I believe the comment was made that uh, uh, tall tales are generally started out with a, a real story. And uh, then you kind of expand on those that, real facts to uh, make it a little bit. That's where that one started. I, I actually broke both my feet. and. Uh, I didn't fall in a well, I fell off a ladder, but you know, that's not too exciting. So okay, okay. You expand upon that. I mean. Okay. Well, it was a cistern in the story, yeah, correct? Yeah, sister, yeah. Yeah. Sister. Okay. <laughs> Some of the kids, I tell them it's a sinkhole, they can relate to a sinkhole if I'm doing kids, they can relate to a sinkhole sometimes, but. Right. Anyway. Yeah, we don't see very many cisterns around anymore. No. Nope. Yeah. Especially on the rolling plains, that was about the only way that people had access to any kind of water. Right. There's water that they trapped whenever right. it would rain. Right. Yeah. yeah every house, even back in Central Texas, they had a cistern. Yeah. Right there by the L shaped house and put the cistern right in the corner, and that's. Yes, sir. Uh, worked it that way. Yes, sir. I'm allergic to mesquite smoke, it's about to kill me today, but uh -oh. I guess I'll get over it.
Well, good morning. Good morning. Looks like things are underway over here. What you got going already? Uh, we've got our beans on. We've got our potatoes cooking. Uh, about to start making bread and getting the meat ready. All right. Did you soak your beans overnight? Or? We did. Soak okay. Our beans overnight. Put our flavoring. Put bacon and onion in them. And just got them. We're gonna start boiling them here pretty quick. Yes, sir. Now, on um, these uh, chuck wagon cook-offs, they generally supply all of the main ingredients. They provide the staples: the meat, right. the beans, the right. flour, uh, milk, and eggs, and then whatever fruit we're gonna have for dessert. Okay. So it's primarily up to you folks to add whatever seasonings. That's correct. Um, we, we try to make it unique with our flavorings and seasonings. Okay. All right. Even down to the oil that is used. I believe they supply they the cooking they oil. They did. That, they provide that right? cottonseed oil, yeah. which is very good to fry in. That's what we'll all make as chicken fried steaks today. All right. How many different competitions did you folks participate in this past year? Uh, we cooked in about six last year, and this is our second this year, and we'll cook in uh, five this year. Okay. Yeah. We've slowed down some. We used to cook 11, 12 times a year, but right. work gets in the way. I understand that. I know for a few years their fuel prices were so dang high that people were very reluctant to haul their wagons around from one place it, to it another. It is an expensive hobby. Uh, but yeah, we're, we'll definitely, we always come back here. I've, we've been here since 2002, so we'll be back. Well, this is about my fourth time back, I guess. <laughs> I first started covering with photography back in the early 2000s and yeah. uh, since then I've moved on over to video. I'm going to check my beans. Sir, don't let me hold you up. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Looks like you guys are making excellent progress here. Now you're making breakfast or lunch already? Breakfast for us. All right. <laughs> Who is the wagon boss here? Uh, I am, I guess. Okay. Oh, definitely are. <laughs> I don't recall seeing you folks last year. I was here. I was oh, you was? Oh, okay. I ain't missed one probably 17, 18 years. Yeah. Wow. So. Have you uh, done pretty well in the past? Uh, Our wagons won uh, several times here, first place. Uh, we've won best meat several times. We've had uh, best bread. Uh, we kind of a little everything. We, well, how many competitions have you participated in this past year? <laughs> this is the only one. Uh, we used to do quite a few. Right. Uh, but uh, that's especially after my mom passed away, keeping my dad busy. But after he died, we kind of cut back. And over the period of years, we do this one just for the family. We I get see. out every time. Okay. That's about it. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of concerned uh, when I first started coming to these events. I, 2002, three, somewhere back in there. There were some like 28 wagons out here. When I first started, there was like 42. Is that right? Wagons. Wow. Back in, I think it was the 13th or 12th or 13th uh, year, uh -huh. Uh -huh. there were 42 wagons out here. Well, I'll say. And that's the most I've ever seen. Well, I've been covering these events for some time, and it seems like every year there seems to be fewer and fewer and fewer. We went through a, a few years there where fuel prices were so high that people just didn't want to spend the money to drag their wagons around. I believe that a lot of it's, you know, a lot of the older generation is dying off. Right. The new generations, are, they're not great. Right. Westerns and stuff, and they're not interested yeah. in it. 
Yeah. So I think that's a, a lot to it. Excuse that's, me, I'm sure. going to get my biscuits out. I don't want to hold you up, sir. And get them buttered up. Yeah, I about kept you talking too long. <laughs> we didn't have enough coals to set it on the ground. So I said, well, we'll just do it this way. Yeehaw. Well, good morning, good morning. Looks like everybody's hard at work. <laughs> now I know who the wagon boss is on this wagon. Oh, do you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sometimes I play like. <laughs> well, um, you do an awfully good job of ordering people around and putting out good food. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been world champion 10 or 11 times. <laughs> But I understand you haven't run anybody off yet. We haven't run anybody off. <laughs> well, what is going to be your secret for winning this year, do you think? We don't really have a secret. We're just hoping. <laughs> okay. Good morning. So, are you uh, doing the cobbler here? or I'm doing peach cobbler. Okay. Get all the ingredients here. The main thing today is the fire. Boy, this thing is cooking slow. Well, it's... Everything got wet. Yes. It's kind of cool this morning. Yeah, Wind blowing a little bit. I guess that would kind of cool things down somewhat if they're not yeah. right directly on the fire. Yeah, you don't ride on the fire. I love your apron there. Well, thanks. Now, did you make that, or is well, that uh, store-bought? They, they sponsor us. Okay. And we've had them a long time, so they're about wore out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what have we got going on over here? Bacon, 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 looks yeah, like. Having a little bacon. Having a little bacon. A lot of bacon. Yes, ma'am. Now, what will that be going into? Is this just for breakfast for you? No. We this fried it, put it in the potatoes. And the potatoes, mm -hmm. okay. Now, Hartley up near Dalhart, uh, that's, What's that? that Hartley is a uh, cattle raising country, is it yes, not? Yes, it is. It's got a long history. A lot, of, a lot of crops right now, too. Getting to be more dairies all along. Yes. <laughs> well, the Texas Panhandle has seen an awful lot of changes <laughs> since folks started moving in after about 1875 or so. And your family has actually been a part of a lot of that history as well. For a long time. Yes, ma'am. Well, feel free to look around. If y'all run back by this way, come get you something to eat. I know you're gonna have worked, this, worked yourself up an appetite. 
<laughs> Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Well, I see some familiar faces over here from last year. How are y'all doing this morning? Ask us at noon. <laughs> so what have we gotten started on so far? Well, just the remnants of the biscuit dough. The biscuits are in the proofer, rising nicely. And now I gotta make pie dough. Ty's doing good. He's going to graduate in uh, December. He may stay working with Matt. Took the GRE the other day.
Where the pie crust at? The pie crust is right there. I've got Land of Lakes with potatoes. Oh, okay. She got it. Thank you. This ought to be pretty. <laughs> it is. <laughs> You're the only one I've seen doing dishes as of yet. Somebody will do them. I'm not doing everybody. I'm just doing this one. <laughs> this is all I'm doing. <laughs> now that looks like an old bowl right there. This is a Kruger pan. This is what they put the uh, biscuits in and the flour in to get it to rise okay and it gets real hard and I still have to clean it yeah and it's about as much fun as kissing my sister I was I just wondering one. how many times that thing has actually been cleaned in its lifetime by me I can tell you exactly how many a okay. lot oh. <laughs> <laughs> now well, that's not very exact came from, uh, <laughs> not so sure <laughs> uh, I'll have to ask Randall about that then <laughs> yeah you'll have to ask him this comes from way back when I've cleaned it a lot. <laughs> I'm just yeah. gonna go with a lot. Yeah. But it's got to be done, and they give us beer too. So, okay. well, that helps. As a matter of fact, this whole crew is pretty much fueled hydrated. by Budweiser, right? Yeah, it's hydrated very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I wonder if that pan would have been used during the Wild West days as well. We, I, you know, I almost want to say, you know, we did an Old West show. Yeah. I'm, I almost want to say, because I'm old, I okay. can't really remember back that far. I think we might have used it back during the show, which is 91. Right. From 90, 91 to 96. Yeah. I remember, because I did then too, so <laughs> anyway. Um, I think we used it, but I'm not exactly sure what we used it for. Because we weren't real good back then. 
But uh, yeah, it's been around for a while. Now, as far as where it comes from and everything like that, you probably have to give it part of you. Know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see what everybody else is doing. Have a good one. Back in the 80s when we had science books. Now we don't have science books. No. They've gotten too expensive. No, they're not. Which is damn millennial kids. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a something to be. I hope that don't go public. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. We're fixing us some lard. And it's going to be some lovely stuff. Some of the most finest, beautiful, most chicken fried steaks that ever crossed your lips. Mm. You just rear back and slap your mama and say, Why did you not cook for me like that, mama? <laughs> That's how it works here at the big time for me. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Now you got to be smart enough to get into the cotton seed oil. This is going to be some good stuff right here. Now this is a Lubbock product, This is, is a not? fine Lubbock product from Plainsman Cottonseed Oil. If you want to fry and fry your, your chicken fries well, use Plains Cottonseed Oil. It's <laughs> grand every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh he made a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> he is a commercial. And if you've got a salad that needs oil, use the same stuff. It's great on your salad, excellent on your chicken fried steak, and it's mashingly wonderful with green beans. <laughs> and mashingly with women. Oh, and rub it all over your girlfriend. Grease them up. I take her everywhere. It took me 36 years, but really, you finally chased her down. Well, no, I've known I, I've known her forever. Oh yeah. We went to high school together. And, no kidding. So, Where did you go to high school? Up in Colorado. Oh, in Colorado. And uh, we were always good friends, and we met up. And yeah. We stayed together and. Pull that green. He's been full. All the steaks over there. Okay. Uh, not that one. That one, that one's turn in. Other pans in Hey, Randy, that's got two in it. Oh, it does. Okay. Right. Like, the <laughs> there okay. you go. There you go, man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
And she looks much better at than I do. She does look much better than Yeah, she does. Come and she got a nice hat, too. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. She's got that northern look. And then when she said she lives at White Pins Farms, I'm like, what? You like, there you go. Two miles from me. No way, where are you there? <laughs> well, I can't live over on the south side of this one. Oh, up a grand. I thought you were from Amarillo. Oh, yeah, look at Amarillo. Hey, Scottish Lake. Yeah, we are. Anybody else? You're out. Oh, we got one more over there. You guys hand out. Anybody else? You drank yours. Well, I forgot. I just took a sip. Oh, okay. Uh, you're out. We're still good. You cannot take a sip. You didn't, you didn't tell us that until after you gave it to me. All right, here we go. All right. Hang on. Toast. You good? Oh, Whipple. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's have a great, uh, how about a big round of a hoo-ha? Okay, but we're not doing it yet. Oh. <laughs> so we got an example of what we need. So, oh, we got, and we got two more. Apple come on pie. in. Yeah. Pie. Come on, let's come get on, a couple lady. more. Come on, lady. Oh, look. She, she's like, what? There we go. Hang on. There we go. All right, are we ready? We need one more. Hold on, hold on. Okay, one more. This is this is dragging on way. We got one out here. All right, All right. here we go. Right. Hurry up, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give me a big old hoo ho for the C4B wagon. Woo! Here we go. Do not try this at home. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, that is smooth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is good. You ready? That is good. Heading <laughs> <laughs> home to Texas. How do y'all who are you with? This truck wagon over here. Okay, next door over there, huh? All right. What have you got on special here? Coffee. 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 Does it have to be doctored up or? Good Will it float a horseshoe? No, sir. Well, if it don't float a horseshoe, it ain't cowboy coffee. No, it will eat it up. It, it don't float. It floats. It, <laughs> it floats a horseshoe. Oh, it will. All right. Cost one dollar. Okay. Well, I got my hands full right now. I'll come back and see you, huh? Get out of here. All right. We got a sheriff up back there. Yeah, police officers. I'm a, I'm a sheriff. Oh, you are? Where's your badge? Right here. Oh, okay. I got a badge like that. I think it's in my back pocket. How are you ladies doing? I thought you were the sheriff. You know, a sheriff gets about all the women he cares for. All right, are they teaching you how to knead dough? Roll out dough? Y'all making biscuits or bread? Thank you. 
How are we doing over here? Oh, we're doing great. Is the turn ins done? No, sir. We're, uh, we're getting close. All right. Time's growing short. Yes, sir, it is. Seems like you got all kinds of time, and then all of a sudden you got no time. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't let me slow you down. Uh, I guarantee you. Yes, sir, don't get inside our camp, please. Please stand out beside the road. Thank you. So this wagon has been in the damage. It's 
early in the 80s, and we used it on the ranch, and then... Daddy's a gravy maker. Take it out. Love you need it. to Canada? You need to come back and talk to us in a while. Wow. Canada. That's what that hey, is. Hey, what'd you do your foot? She kicked you? Right behind you. All right. I had surgery. You did. Yes, I got three of them. Is it hurt? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. 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 Don't worry. No problem at all.